Hello, and welcome to PR Talks. My name is Stacey Lee, and I'm here with esteemed PR professional Jacob Jerome. Hi, Stacey. Pleasure to be here this morning. So, Jacob, I hear you wanted to talk to viewers about the uses and gratifications theory this week. Do you think you can give us a brief summary? Absolutely. Uh, the uses and gratifications theory is where the audiences are active users in the media, and they use the media based on the gratifications toward them. With this, they uh, create social empathy, a sense of belonging, um, interaction. Very interesting. Do you think you could give our viewers an example that they would know? Oh, yes. We interrupt this regular program with breaking news, an embarrassing snafu for the New York Police Department. Twitter is a flutter with pictures depicting police brutality in a public relations campaign that backfired. We go now to our correspondent, Christina Lucchesi, who is with the NYPD staffer behind the viral fiasco. Thanks, Al. The New York Police Department's intention was to launch a Twitter campaign to positively promote interactions between police officers and New York citizens. The hashtag MyNYPD was launched, but soon after, horrific pictures of police brutality began to emerge. The pictures showed clashes between police and protesters during the Occupy Wall Street movement. Officers can be seen arresting people, handcuffing protesters, pulling hair, and inflicting pain on both men and women. We are now joined by Chief Joanne Jaffe. Joanne, can you walk us through what happened? I can, yes. On uh, Tuesday of this week, we launched a new Twitter campaign. It was called Hashtag MyNYPD, and we were in, hoping to have uh, New York City citizens post pictures of our police officers interacting with our citizens of the of the city. So what went wrong? Well, we had a really great campaign where we had the hashtag MyNYPD, and initially the posts were positive, and we were very happy with how it was going. And then we had Occupy Wall Street just a few days ago, and uh, we had over 70,000 people that responded with pictures and posts, and it didn't necessarily go the way that we wanted it to. So how will you keep this from happening again? Well, another good thing that we learned out of this was that Twitter is a very powerful tool, and we will definitely uh, take more time and consideration in opening up a Twitter campaign in the future and noting that uh, people can post negative things and, and not just positive but also negative posts as well. Thanks, Chief Jaffe. Back to you, Al. All right, Christina. It's a cautionary tale for any organization or anyone about the responsible use of social media. We now return to our regular programming already in progress. And that's why it's important for companies to be aware of the uses and gratifications of its audiences. It's best because if a crisis rolls up, then they know what their audience's opinions are on the event, they know what events are going on. They don't really catch you off guard. You're way more prepared. Thank you so much for your wonderful insight this week, Jacob. And next up, job hunting tips for PR graduates. 